What's up guys? I am John the Potter and welcome back <clears throat> to another pottery video. Today we have a full kiln and I know everyone's so sick of kiln unloadings, me too, but I've just like sucked myself into having to do every one now, but I might have to stop that. All right, let's clean up. things we got first dock lake scene mugs this turned out pretty good let's try this I'm gonna tell it to focus on this right here now I'm gonna put it on manual focus so that it won't move so then I'm gonna come back every time and put it right here so now I'm gonna be blurry but I'll come back over here and then I'll put it up right here and it'll be in focus. Waconia, Minnesota. There's some Waconia, Minnesota mugs. These are sweet. Those green and that sea green. There's some Waconia Ocean Drip mugs. Waconia, Minnesota. Okay, and so my new idea for this Christmas season is to make a bunch of these Minnesota, state of Minnesota ornaments. Right? Um, and sell them for 10 bucks a piece because I can, I think I can just make hundreds pretty easily. So these were like basically all testers. So black, so that had a black one with glass in it. This is that red with a little heart that's glass in there. Another red one. This one is just an MN that says MN. Black MN. Tried a green and uh, red for Christmas. And then this one was like just a bunch of speckled, like I just threw shards of glass on there and I was gonna see if it looked like snow or something, but it doesn't, I probably won't ever do that again. It's just a tester bowl, pine tree mug with some sweet drips on the back. Those are pretty bomb, pretty Rufus, as somebody told me to say. There's another pine tree with some drips. Those are sweet looking. Yeah. Here's another Waconia, Minnesota mug. Uh, another, so this is Waconia. This is a Waconia mug, and it actually has the logo for the city, so it's like a sailboat in there. So that'll probably be on the shelf for less than, probably won't make it through a weekend. Dang it, it has a piece of little kiln shelf on there. Dang it. Well, shoot. All right, here's a, a mountain mug. Those are cool, whenever those are on the shelves, they sell two of them. Okay, and then, so last year for Christmas we made some custom mugs for a brewery called Back Channel Brewery, and they asked us again because they had sold out. So this is what the mugs look like, and that's their logo, it's like, it's called Back Channel Brewery, so it's, it's like really close to Lake Minnetonka, and so it's a really cool logo, it's this triangle with Wow, that got super close to dripping off. So yeah, those, those are, so I think we have 12 of them for back channel. Those all turned out really nice. I'll definitely take some pictures of those before I go drop them off. This is back to a, a more normal kiln opening where it's like a ton of mugs. Okay, so pine tree mugs. Turned out really nicely. Uh, there's four of them, but one of them has these stars in here. So my wife, Isi, was getting a tattoo, and she, on the tattoo, there's these stars that look like these stars in here. And they, well, she got two of them, one for me and one for Ryder. And so I think I gotta get a tattoo before my 30th birthday. Any ideas out there? Oh, yes, yes. Okay, so this is a Viking skull for Back Channel Brewery. So they asked me, because they serve these IPAs out of bowls, and they wanted a Back Channel themed Viking skull. 
That is actually sweet. Like I'm excited to go to the brewery and give them all their mugs. A couple other things that came out here, some Minnesota mugs with some drips. I was just kind of trying to make sure that the drips are in good form. Sorry, my voice is a little off today. All right, and then we got some more back channel. So last time they ordered, like, they ordered 20 uh, back channel mugs, and I did them all in this same color, the North Northern Lights. And so now I did, so we have 12 mugs for back channel, and there's three different glazes. They kind of said just kind of mix it up a little bit. So those are nice. Really, really, really nice. I like them a lot. Oh, I like them a lot. Right here. Just, just, just bear with me for a second. Getting creative. That's what it's really all about, right? Just, this is gonna take some serious editing. Ooh, and I have the light on it, which creates that terrible, terrible glare. Let's get that out of there. Okay. We got four, four more of these back channel mugs in the North Woods Plays. Those turned out very nicely. Sweet, sweet. I think all those, all those turned out phenomenal. Phenomenal. Okay, and then the rest of the stuff in here the rest of this is just gonna be these Minnesota ornaments, and I have glass in them, so that I put them up on these stilts, right? So I did like black and green, and then put glass in the middle, and then, oh, that one, actually the glass went in the hole. So I'll have to try and drill that out, but, and I don't want these to become a lot of work, because I'm not selling them for that much, but, that's cool, black and green. And then there's just blue. Yeah, I think those are gonna be big sellers for Christmas ornaments. Okay, that was dumb. All right, and then we got some glass coasters that just have that glass in the middle. So it has black and then green and then the more um, glass in the middle. So we got a few of these. Those are pretty awesome. And then this one has half black half blue with, that is like very, very cool. How that melted in there. I like those a lot, those are cool, cool. I think, and then just have Minnesota. All right, so then that is matte white. Looking pretty fine, if that's what you like. If that's something that you're into. How is this setup working for you? I'm just really trying to get creative here with uh, <clears throat> cameras, lenses, you know? trying to figure it out. I just like, am so, I just like, am so in love with this, this recycled glass stuff. So those, those were, I think I figured these for a second time because they had some, some holes. But then here's some blue ones with, just like I left the middle open clay. So it's kind of just white crystal-y. Turned out really, really good. These are like just perfectly flat. Two more of those guys. And then the last thing in here is some more glass stuff. Those are Dunzo. And then this, so this, I it says MN underneath there and I thought it might be cool to put glass on top of it and see if you could still read it, but she kinda can. So the market will tell me if this is good or not. When I say the market, I mean if that sells, then someone will think it's cool. These are the last things in here. So green, blue, with the glass in the middle. Okay, so this had way too much glass on it and it just went right into that hole. So I think moral of the story, for me, I think I need to be a little less creative on the uh, on the Minnesota ornament side and a little more just like do what works because so far I've had a lot that haven't worked. So look at that kiln load of mugs. 
Holy smokers, holy smokers. Basically, all glass coasters and mugs, which turn is great, because that has, we need, we've sold lots of those. So, well, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, like this video, comment below, tell me what your favorite piece was out of here. Hit that bell button to be notified whenever I post. Check me out on the Patreon page. Follow me on Instagram, blah, 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 blah. We'll see you in the next video. Hey.